Hi, Kipsters. This is Ms. Rosado again for some shared reading. Today it's Monday. How was your weekend? I hope you had a good one. Maybe you were making drawings. Maybe you were playing with your video games. Or maybe you were helping mom to cook. Whatever it is that you were doing, I hope you had a great time. So, boys and girls, today we are reading a new book. And guess what? We're going to be playing kind of a game. Now, every day we have a different goal. Today, our goal is to figure out what the missing word is. So on each page, Miss R has a covered word. Now you only have the first letter showing. Now it's your job to find clues in the pictures and in that first letter that will help you figure out what that word is, okay? So are you ready for this game? Let's start. Before we start reading, how many of you have been on a parade? You have, so some of you have. What did you see at the parade? And who was there? How did you feel? So in parades, we see marching bands and people feel happy and excited and they're celebrating. So today we're going to read a story called Maddie Loves to March. In this story, Maddie, this word, hmm, to march around her house and on her street. Let's see what she does when a parade comes down her street. Now we already know what our job is today. Let's look at the title. Maddie, ooh, to march. What could this word be? Maybe like? Maddie likes to march? Okay, that could be an option. Loves? Maddie loves to march? Could it be look? Maddie look to march? Not really, right? Let's see what it is. Loves. Maddie loves to march. Good job. Let's see this page. Now I'm going to help you out a little bit, but after a while it's going to be all you. Maddie loves... B she loves to march all around. What do you think this word could be? Maddie loves beaches? Is she at a beach? Hmm. Maddie loves baseball? Does she have any pictures in her room that show us that she likes baseball? What could it be? Maybe bands? Maddie loves bands? She is marching. She has a hat and a band uniform. And that helps me think, that makes me think too, that this word could be bands. If you thought that was the word, Good job. If not, let's keep trying. Maddie marches through the... One, two, three, four. Where is Maddie marching? I'm looking at the picture, and I know that this word begins with H. Is she marching through the school? No, it doesn't look like a school, and it doesn't begin with S. Is she marching through the mall? Mm, that's not an M. I don't see a mall. Oh, she's marching through the house? That is a good one. We see a couch, a sofa, a lamp on a table, a little rug. She's maybe in her living room. She's marching through the house. Let's see you do this one. Maddie marches down the... One, two, three, four. Use the clues to figure out that word. Stairs, right. What clues did you, did you use? What clues did you find? She is marching with her cat and they're going down the stairs. There's nothing else in the pictures. And this word begins with an S. Maddie marches down the stairs. Good job. Mm, marches down the hall. One, two, three, four. I wonder what this word could be. I think this one's pretty easy. But it could also be tricky. Maddie? That's right. Every page, the sentence begins with Maddie. And we are talking about the same girl. Maddie marches down the hall. She mm, out the door. One, two, three, four. What is Maddie doing? 
She mm out the door. Marches. Good job. I see her legs moving. So she's maybe walking, but that doesn't begin with a W. So what clue can you use? Right. The word begins with an M and she is with her band uniform going outside. She is marching. One, two, three, four. When you march, you count. Maddie marches down the one, two, three, four. What clues can you use in this picture? Right, I can use the picture. I can see that there's a sidewalk, some trees, maybe her dad and her dog and the cat. And the word begins with an S. Maddie marches down the sofa? Mm, not really, there's no sofa. Maddie marches down the slide? Could it be slide? Mm, I don't think so. Street? Maybe that's a good one. Maddie marches down the street. Let's see. That's right. It's the word street. Maddie marches down the street. One, two, three, four. Good job. Oh, Maddie gets from marching all around. She stops to rest under a tree. Maddie gets what? She was marching everywhere. Now, she's going to take a little bit of a rest. And that word begins with a T because she is T. -t. What is she? She's tired. Maddie gets tired from marching all around. Why do you need to rest? You rest when you feel that your body is tired. Good job. Maddie hears a marching band. She up to see it come. Hmm, what could that word be? It starts with a J. J, J. Hmm. She joys up to see it come? Hmm, that doesn't make sense. She jiggles up to see it come? That doesn't make sense either. What word could it be? Jumps? She jumps up to see a come. Maybe she got excited. That's right. It's the word jumps. She jumps up to see it come. Good job, boys and girls. She sees the band leading a p. -p. One, two, three, four. What could that word be? Now we know that there's a band. They're playing music. And what did I ask for at the beginning? <gasps> I gave you a clue. Let's see who can guess it. They are leading a what? A parade. Good job. It starts with a P. They are all marching in synchronization. They are leading a parade. Cool. And then here, let's Close this one and this one. I'm sorry, boys and girls. I had a bit of a pickle there. Let's see this one. Maddie, J the marching band. She leads the parade. One, two, three, four. Could it be jump again? Maddie jumps the marching band? Is she jumping at them? Hmm, not really. What could she be doing? To this parade what could she be doing if she loves bands and she is seeing one coming down her street what is she going to do with this marching band something with the letter J Maddie J, J. joins good job now what do you think that Maddie loves parades or bands Maybe she loves the music. That could be the reason. Maybe she really likes how they all play instruments. Why does she like to march? Maybe she likes that it's all of them together. It could be many reasons. 
Now, boys and girls, when you read hard words in books, you can use the first letter plus other clues to figure out what the word is. You did an amazing job today, and I'm so proud of you. Maybe tomorrow we can do something similar or play a different game. Now, thank you so much for coming, and I will see you all tomorrow for another episode of Shared Reading. Have a good day.